Good morning everybody. Um, today we're out on um, the two new arrivals the, who arrived yesterday. Did the transporters did very well getting them to us really after the storm and then the snow and everything else so we were happy. Okay good morning everybody. Just bringing you um, a video so you can just have a bit of um, a preview on the new arrivals who arrived last night. Um, Nikki in front, she is on Stormy and Stormy arrived about 11 o'clock last night so she was a late arrival. Um, unloaded straight into the stable in the dark and now it's about um, 11 o'clock and um, we've had the breakfasts nice and settled on the yard and we're out for a hack. So we've also got Dancer with us. Um, she's no longer available. She has a home waiting for her. So I'm on Poppy, who is sporting the very cool hairdo and will not be there for long after Nick's got the clippers round her. So obviously she was hogged and it's uh, started to grow out. So we will rehog her because it does suit her. So just concentrating on um, Nick's horse in front. It's probably not the best view. Just seen her backside and you can see that she's obviously had some time in the field. Um, not with us just before she comes to us. Hence the dirty legs and tail. So we will be giving her a bath. But she's actually a beautiful stamp of a cob. She's got a blue and white but she's um you can't see the colour in that um too much there. She's as you can see she's got a nice long nice long mane as well and she has got beautiful feathers but as I say they do need um a good wash. She's 10 years old she's 14 too and she's quite unusual to see a nice uh, grey cob like her, traditional. She's a lovely stamp, I don't know if you can just grasp that off um, the video. She's had a long term home, many years, and then um, has recently had an owner who um, actually found that she was a little bit more forward going than she wanted, but as we all know, this actually applies to both of them, Poppy's owner as well. Um, she's had a long term owner and then um, a recent owner. And again, she wanted um, to part with her because she found a little bit forward. I am constantly getting horses offered to me at the minute, guys, for this very same reason. It's typical February. Um, horses have had a long winter in. They're not really getting over the Christmas when they got a bit sharper when horses weren't ridden and a lot of horses are now um, proving too forward for their owners. I really don't think that isn't a reflection on the horses. It's a reflection on the time of year guys. So if you just take a look at um, Stormy there, we've been out now about 25 minutes. Bear in mind this is her first ride. So these horses, both of them, do not know where they are. And we've got both of them in a snaffle. If you can see that Nick's got a nice light contact on her. There you go. Same here, guys. I'm the same. This is Poppy. Poppy's a bit bigger than Stormy. So she'd be about 14 three. And she's actually six years old. You wouldn't know that. She's been absolutely fantastic. She's been used as a hunt hiling. So um, I've got lots of photos and some videos of her out on the hunt field. So they're pretty um, sensible if you can hire them hat. Oh, get my words out. If you can hire them out for a day's hunting, and that's what she's done. We've got her in a snaffle as well. There you go, she's turned ahead for you. Um, she was clipped out and hocked. This needs redoing. Um, so just going back to Stormy a little bit. She's done local shows, she's done a bit of everything. Knows her job in the school, she jumps, um, she's done clinics. A real good all rounder, as you can see, hacking nicely. She's been in front, she's been by the side, she's been behind, she's been good as gold to tack up and mount. Nikki's mounted it and actually we ha she had to get off um, five minutes into the hat to go and retrieve Rick, Kyle's horse, that was 
not where we left him and she stood there while I was on Poppy um, and I held Stormy so both horses behaved impeccably well so just a little bit about Poppy same sort of thing her owner felt um, that she was a little bit more forward and, and probably um, wanted a home who wants to get out and about and do a little bit more obviously as you can see i'm riding um poppy same applies her first ride she arrived with us last night about half past seven yesterday evening so in the dark same sort of thing as stormy straight out on a hack um she was good to tack up she was very good to uh, mount i got on her myself nobody held her good as gold good to do my girth stirrups all that sort of stuff She's actually neighed twice on this video and that's the first time she's neighed on the whole hat. So there you go. She's just giving you all a shout out. But yeah, so this is first hack. Um, we've had traffic past us. We've had a big um, concrete lorry pickup thing, all sorts past us already. And they've both been very good in the traffic. Poppy is totally non-spooky so far. And obviously we've just set out guys half an hour into the hack so we're just giving you the information on what we've seen so far but um she's walked past everything both of them have but um i would say that stormy would just just have a bit more of a nosy round poppy's just not even not even give anything a second look so we will bring some more um video as the hat goes on and a little bit more information but obviously day one assessments thank you so this is a little test here for poppy poppy's turn to go through there it's very spooky through there oh i didn't get you in time but you can see those two have come through as well so we've come off the road now just bringing a little bit of um off-roading video and we've slightly changed the order of the ride as we do through these assessments as i said before um when we're riding out in a group we try and put them in the different um orders on the hack sorry if it's a bit windy and you can't hear me so we're doing quite puppies doing very well here because um i've got we've actually oh, i don't know if you can hear it here so there's motorbikes behind there that we can hear and can't see i'm one-handed we've got stormy there behind and then we'll keep this running to come back past the next element which you wouldn't believe these concrete um blocks how how spooky and how many horses don't like this so let's just see. I tell you what, guys, this horse, there you go, you can see the crosses. Those have come past as well. This horse is very, very bold. I can't believe how bold she is. She just goes past anything. And then, Nick, if you just um, move on, well, I'll just sort of hang back a bit and we'll move the order of the ride again. You go you can see stormy it's beautiful in there and so nick has just taken over the lead and poppy has quite happily let her still in those light contact so here we're having a go with stormy in front for another spooky element of the ride oh well done good bit of video past the wheelie bins how many of you have horses that spook at wheelie bins 
I know I do. So I wanted to show you the new girls. And we'll, we'll look at a bit of um, dancer for the wheelie bins. Not even a bit second. Look. Gone there. Oh yeah, go on, I'm video, I'm sorry. You alright, Kyle? <laughs> this is our first canter on both of these two new ones guys and it's on video this is our assessment canter obviously we've got a bit of a gap between us and i'm having probably the most comfortable canter you're right kyle we've got dancer behind Oh my gosh, her canter is to die for. Is she? Yes, she is. I've got it all on video, first canter. Yeah, she was as well. So we're now almost home from our hack. And the conclusion for both of these horses is exactly what it says on the tin. They have passed their first assessment on flying colours. A pair of them. Poppy has given me the most wonderful ride and the most comfortable canter. Stormy's thoroughly enjoyed her hack with Nick. And again, an amazing canter. So that we've had them hacking. Both of them have taken the lead with them in traffic. We took them off road. We've counted them in a group. Snaffle mouth. They've been good to, as I say, tack up, load. What a pair of cracking clubs these two are. I'd like to order some more of my best, please. <laughs> Tomorrow will be makeover day. So anybody that's interested in either of these two. Um, Stormy is going to be... <sighs> depending on her arena she's going to be very very top end blue probably sneaking into the purple heart range and poppy as well and truly the purple heart range as well um just because she's just a little bit bigger as well so that just adds um a little bit more to the value cracking 